Hi everyone, it's Mia. Today we'll be drawing a chalk pastel wolf. The materials you'll need for today are paper, a black marker, a pencil, an eraser, your pastels, a cream, tan, gray, brown, and a color of your choice, and a Q-tip. Let's get started. First, we'll take our pencil and on our paper, we'll draw a big rhombus, a kind of sideways square. Drawing very lightly, draw two straight lines just cutting off the top and bottom corners of the rhombus. Then, draw a straight line connecting the left and right corners to each other. Then, draw two lines down from the top to the bottom of the rhombus. That will result in two parallel lines, and that means lines that will never intersect each other, connecting the two smaller lines down the face of the rhombus. This is called an underdrawing, and it's a rough sketch of the final drawing we'll make just to help us keep everything symmetrical and correct. Kind of like a treasure map. Next, we'll sketch the eyes. I start with two small dime-sized circles for the irises that sit right above the middle line we drew and right next to each of the parallel lines. Then, I'll draw the rest of the eye. The top eyelid will be a sideways C-shape coming from the corner and going outward just past the iris. And do that for both sides. Then, the lower eyelid line simply connects to the upper lid. And I add some eyebrows just to give him more personality and match his happy eyes. I darken the line a bit between his eyes to indicate where his forehead ends and his muzzle begins, and then I draw his nose. The nose is a simple triangle with the flat side up, and its corners touch the parallel guidelines before coming down to a small point in the middle. Then I bring a little line down and making a shape similar to the number three, but sideways, I draw his mouth. Look how cute it is. And his mouth should touch the top of where we cut that bottom off. Then another little curve for his chin, where the corner used to be, and we're done! Look at that smile! And then onto his ears. Very simple, just two slightly rounded triangles coming off of his head. I also made an artistic choice to bring the corners of the rhombus down to look more like soft cheek fur. And I just bring down two straight lines that meet at a slight V under his chin for his neck. Then, taking your black marker, here I'm using a sharpie, we'll outline his eyes and add a little pupil. Then we'll outline the nose and mouth, and I color in his nose a bit because I think it'll look nice. Now take your eraser and erase your construction lines, basically only leaving the lines that outline his face. Now it's pastel time! We'll start off with the cream color first and go all the way up his nose, filling in and connecting to his eyebrows. Then we'll add a bit on the chin and some on the ends of his eyebrows and on the fur on his cheeks. And then we blend with our fingers using little circular motions. Most of this wolf's face will be white and cream, which is why I'm not filling it in all the way with the cream color. And I'm blending it out so it looks like the colors transition very easily into each other. Then take your tan and add some around the cream on his muzzle and on the tops of his cheeks, and blend that out again.
Great job so far. You guys rock. And now for the gray. Most of our wolf is going to be gray, so I break my pastel into a smaller piece so I can use the edge to color much faster. And we'll just fill in every white area except the part that we want to keep white on his face. I only outline the ears with the gray because I'm going to add some cream in there later for his inner ear fur. And then we blend, blend, blend until the cows come home. I mix the gray in with the cream and tan where they meet to make a nice soft transition again. Then I'll put that cream color in his ears and blend it out. And taking my yellow pastel and using the sharp corner, I fill in his irises, but you can do any color you'd like. I then take one end of my Q-tip to blend out his eyes, because my fingers are a little too big for that space. Then, using the corner of the black pastel, I fill out the rest of his eyes. In wolves, you don't usually see the whites of their eyes like you see in humans. Rather, they have a large, dark tear duct to protect their eyes from sunlight and debris. I also fill in his nose, which is a little bit of the black pastel where the marker didn't fill, and blend that out as well. For the final step, I take the black and lightly add some shading under his head and on his neck and in his ears. I blend out the ear shadow, but leave the rest unblended for some nice texture. Then I take my gray one last time and add some fine strokes with the corner to give the indication of fur. And there you have it, an awesome wolf portrait. You guys did so good today. I hope you had fun and we'll see you next time. Bye.